With the F-Zero GX challenges starting, how do you play this game? Well, the first thing I'd recommend doing is just starting to play without having to read any of the technical aspects about it. So let's go into the Grand Prix, and you're going to start with four default machines, Falcon, Fox, Goose, Stingray. And in this game, they play very differently, so you can see which one uh, what fits you best. And one other aspect about the machines is different than 99, is you can control their acceleration amount. So it's a hundred meter here, and you'll start off the 50, and that's pretty solid. It's not a bad pick to play just at the 50%. It actually changes how not only the acceleration, but how the machine performs. And one thing that happens kind of when you go too low, especially with a uh, machine like Stingray, is you're actually capable of snaking with a decent amount of machines in the game, and that's a completely different play style. So if you want to be safe, uh, you kind of, you're usually going to go to the 50 to 100 mark here, and I'll go into more detail in a moment about what the exact settings will be. And otherwise, there's, then there'll be the, the story mode, which is kind of the legendary difficulty here. So with this one, there's nine chapters, and which will be in the challenges as we go through. And even the first chapter in very difficult, you know, pretty difficult, because you got to take the correct line and be fast about it, collecting all the capsules. So let's go into some more details on the Discord. So this is going to be actually a different F-Zero Discord. This one is to the main hub of F-Zero, where all the games are. So let's start here. This one's called the F-Zero Nexus. And let's kind of go where the resources are. So this was all the list here. So there's a few resources here you should, if you wanted to get more into the game, you really need to look these up. This one right here, there's a bunch of links to a, a ton of information, and then there's like different guides and all that stuff, and there's just a whole bunch of data. So you can pretty much click through here. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of it. It'd be like a, you know, like a marathon if I did. And then there's some other stuff to go through. Then there's the official website. So we're going to GX. This one is the ups, our website still kind of under construction because of a, a previous hacking incident. So all this stuff, is, all the records are still here. And like I said before, there's different categories from max speed and snaking and story mode. Then another really important one is combined leader. If you want to look at like all the runs that have ever existed in this game and all the the world records. This is the updated one with all of them. So this has everything. But watching world record videos is not going to actually help you because what they're going to be doing is not something um, the other machines can be capable of. These are really just the highest tier machines they're capable of what's going here. And what they do is, uh, even with the highest machines, very, very difficult. And if you wanted to go into more details about the machines, it gets this game has been pretty much data mined as much as possible. You can see here all the stats about all the machines. It has different settings. Like I said, the 1 through 100, so you can check all of them. And it gives you all the details about it. So there's just a lot of fun stuff to go through here. And something that kind of would help is going into this one, let's see, that goes updated, and do no side attacks, so generally I assume people playing are going to play the non-side attack one, so if you're just looking through here and you want to kind of see how each ma machine performs, you go into time ranks, all of you are discussing for this challenge, we're playing multiplex, so you can see here how each machine performs, and sometimes it's not always the same machines at the top, besides the few elite ones. So you'll see that kind of mixed up. And the bottom ones kind of um, sometimes can change a lot too. Like Dark Schneider's specifically really bad this course. 
but sometimes you'll see it in the top 10. So that, uh, machines kind of have unique attributes to them where that can happen. So this is a, a really good fun thing to look through and there's over a thousand runs just on this page alone. Then additionally, uh, just to cover kind of how the machines play, let's look into the tier lists. Uh, so just kind of to explain this, Fat Shark and Black Bull in this game are just clearly the best two. And these are also the most difficult machines to use. Then if you're, just, if you're just playing more straightforward, you're probably going to look into this category, especially these four, uh, Death Anchor, uh, Wild Boar, uh, Sun Phantom, and Hyperspeeder. Those are kind of just the go-to solid machines. Uh, they're fast and you could just really um, good at this straightforward gameplay. And things get kind of more complicated when you pick sliders, like uh, right here, Great Star is a slider, Crazy Bear is a slider, Green Panther. So they're ranked high, but if you play them, you probably be like, what is this? Why is this the worst machine ever? It's just because it's a completely different play style. And then there's this, the bottom machines that are just this F category. There's no special maneuvers you're going to do. There's nothing that's going to happen for them not to be at the bottom. They're just kind of, that's where they belong. And a useful resource to kind of how each machine plays is this list right here. So it kind of explains how the machine performs in what way and why it's good. So this is just really helpful, just a really easy read through why a machine is good and why it's bad. And to cover the acceleration numbers real quick, let's go into the guide here. That's called expanded max speed. So let's go into the allowed settings. So this will show each machine before the snaking mechanism kind of kicks in. And with like Dark Schneider, if you pick 59, you're not going to all of a sudden start turning and it turns into snaking. That's not how it works. Uh, generally with snaking, it's, well with the snaking leaderboard, it's always at 0%, but with other machines, like you can still snake at 20%. It's just not as strong as it could be with a lower percentage. And if you want to do something really fun and kind of experiment of how much a machine can change with its setting, Mighty Hurricane's a really fun one. So play it 100%, then play it 42%, and you'll see the machine performs completely differently. And the lower percentage here for Mighty Hurricane is uh, my preferred one. It's uh, The machine feels just great at a lower percentage, and then at 100%, just try it out for yourself. It's kind of just like, how do you even turn this machine? So that's how much it could change. And if you want to read more in depth about all the techniques and all the advanced stuff that goes on with this game, this max speed guide will pretty much tell you everything and give you links. So we can see right here, the table of contents, very in depth and there's a lot of stuff to learn in this game. So this is a big read through. That's why I say just like you start off the game, just play the game and whatever intuitively how you play the game is probably fine. You can you can beat this game without learning anything. Uh, for the most part, all you're gonna wanna really le learn is the, the quick turn. And that might come just uh, intuitively with um, using the shoulder button and joystick. So I mean, it, it's like, that's like one of the things that isn't specifically in the game manual, but it is, um, the quick steering is uh, kind of the main mode of how the machines turn. So yeah, there's a, a lot to learn here, and I just kind of wanted to give that brief overview of how the F-Zero Nexus works. And I'll drop a link in the YouTube video for people to come so they can get access to all these resources.